okay so now in this video we will try to understand a new model of the transistor that is called the high bit equivalent model okay so the name of the model is or the h parameter model high bit equivalent model okay this is also called the h parameter model of the transistor now previously uh, before that we have discussed the re model or the t model of the transistor and we will calculate the different parameter based on that replacing the transistor with this uh, re model or the t model and calculate the input resistance of the uh, transistor output resistance of the transistor voltage gain like that okay now this model is uh, also uh, doing the same thing that means we are replacing the transistor with this model and try to calculate the input resistance output resistance and current gain voltage gain all these parameters okay so before discussing uh, all these how we calculate this parameter we will first understand what is the high bit equivalent model now in this model we will consider the transistor as a two point network actually this h parameter model in the network analysis course in your network analysis course there is a model called h parameter model and in this parameter or in this model we will consider that this is a part of the two port network so here suppose this is your input port and this is your input port okay and this is we consider the transistor as a two port network so this is your output port here the voltage is v1 and current passing through it is i1 and here we are considering i2 and the voltage across is v2 so this is the uh, black box view of the each parameter model now in this model we will try to write the equation for this okay so equation or the dependent equation is v1 and the i2 in the h parameter likewise in the network theory m h parameter model so we will try to write this equation so v1 equal to h11 i1 plus h12 v2 okay and i2 equal to h21 i1 plus h22 v2 so this is the equation for this h parameter model now if you want to write it in the matrix form then it is v1 i2 like this and this is your h11 this is your h12 this is your h21 this is your h22 and i1 v2 likewise also you can also represent the h parameter model okay so here this two term that means v1 and i2 okay so this v1 and i2 these two are dependent variable as i have said it is the left hand side of the equation so these two are dependent variable okay and these two term i1 and v2 i1 and v2 these two term are independent variable independent variable okay okay so this is clear that v1 and i2 as dependent variable i1 and v2 are the uh, independent variable so we will try to uh, calculate this coefficient so the first coefficient and also we will try to study what are the different unit of this parameter so first uh, is h11 so h11 from the equation you can say that the h11 is v1 divided by i1 when your v2 equal to 0 so this is nothing but v1 divided by i1 v1 divided by i1 and when your v2 equal to 0 so this is the definition of the h11 okay and it is v2 is 0 means output is short circuited okay and it is also called the input resistance 
or the input impedance input impedance when the output is short circuited v2 is zero mean output is short circuited when the output is short circuited okay and obviously as this is a resistance input resistance or the impedance so the unit must be in ohm so this is the first case and the second case is h12 so h12 is nothing but v1 by v2 when your i1 equal to 0 so h12 is equal to v1 divided by v2 when your i1 equal to 0 from the equation it uh, it is clear that h12 equal to v1 divided by v2 when your i1 equal to 0 so this is called v1 divided by v2 okay v1 is the input voltage and v2 is the output voltage actually gain is represented by the output voltage by the input voltage so here is the reverse so that's why it is called the reverse voltage gain so reverse voltage gain voltage gain is represented by ab when input is open circuited current is zero we are assuming current is zero so current is zero mean input is open circuited i1 is the input current so that's why it is said the input is open circuited so that's why it is the reverse voltage gain the y reverse because here the uh, output gain is represented by the output divided by input but here it is the reverse that's why it is called the reverse voltage gain okay so next parameter is h21 h21 is nothing but okay so h21 is nothing but i2 divided by i1 and when v2 equal to 0 so i2 divided by i1 when your v2 equal to 0 okay so that is called the current gain by current gain because i2 is the output current and i1 is the input current so that's why output current divided by input current is called the current gain represented by ai and when output is short circuited v2 is 0 means when output is short circuited and obviously this is unit less both this uh, gain okay gain is actually voltage divided by voltage unit less here also voltage divided by voltage it is also unit less and the last parameter is h22 so h22 is nothing but i2 divided by v2 when i1 equal to 0 so the definition of it is called the output admittance output admittance not the impedance okay so it is called the output admittance why because the h22 is the current divided by voltage if it is voltage divided by current then it is called the impedance but here it is current divided by voltage that is called the admittance and output admittance when input current is zero that means input is open circuited okay and obviously the unit is more unit is more okay so the reverse of the resistance so that is all about the different parameters of this h parameter model okay so this is the different parameters that means h11 h12 h21 and h22 for the hybrid parameter model so next we will just uh, in this equation we just replace h11 as hi h12 as hr okay because h12 is the reverse uh, voltage gain that's why it is represented by hr and h21 as hf okay because it is the forward current gain that's why hf and h22 as h not h not okay output admittance so we will just rewrite the, again the equation v1 as h11 h11 is replaced by hi so hi i1 plus h12 that is represented by hr v2 okay and also the second equation i2 is represented by h21 h21 is represented by hf forward current gain i1 plus h22 is represented by h not output admittance okay into v2 okay. 
so this is the two equation replacing h11 h12 replacing h11 as hi h12 as hr h21 as hf and h22 as h0 with this equation so this is uh, you can see uh, this equation you can see this is the input section equation and this is the output section equation so we will try to draw the model based on this equation so whenever we try to draw the model then this model uh, this is just a kvl equation so v1 equal to hi i1 plus hr v2 so this is the resistance okay and this is hr v2 this is the dependent voltage source like this okay so this is your hr v2 and this is your hi and current flowing through is it i1 and the input voltage across it is v1 so this is the input section this is a simple kvl loop okay we can easily verify that uh, this equation v1 equal to hi into i1 hi in the uh, input or resistance okay so hi and i1 and this is your hr v2 and this voltage is v1 across it across this terminal this voltage is v1 and this is and this equation this equation is nothing but your kvl sorry kcl equation so the output current i2 okay so output current i2 is nothing but the summation of these two current okay this summation this is the dependent current source and this is your uh, i will write the output voltage as v2 so first i am just drawing the dependent current source this dependent current source is represented as so this is a dependent current source so this dependent current source is hf i1 okay. so this is your hf i1 okay and the voltage across the output terminal i have considered as v2 okay and current flowing through is its i2 one minute current flowing through is its i2 okay and voltage across is its v2 so here there is a resistance not resistance it is admittance it is as a0 so this h0 h0 has an unit of mo okay so this h0 h0 into v2 h0 has a unit of h0 has a unit of 1 by resistance okay 1 by resistance and this is your voltage v2 so unit of volt so volt divided by resistance so this is nothing but a current okay so this i i2 current is divided by this two branch current okay so hope you can uh, understand this uh, whole model actually so i am just repeating this model once again so this is the equation v1 v1 equal to this hi into i1 so this is nothing but a kvl equation and this is hi i1 so this is the resistance hi and current flowing through is it's i1 this is uh, okay and the voltage across the input terminal is v1 okay voltage across the input terminal is v1 now the output voltage here we have considered as v2 so as the input section uh, this hr is being teacher into v2 so this this will be considered as the dependent voltage source why dependent because this voltage source is dependent on the output voltage so that's why it is a dependent voltage source if it is dependent on the input voltage then this will be not considered as the dependent voltage source okay so hr into v2 is dependent depending on the voltage v2 so that's why this is a dependent voltage source hr into v2 and next uh, this so this is a kvl equation this is nothing but a kvl equation i have represented with the help of diagram so next equation next equation is nothing but your kcl equation this kcl equation current the output section current is i2 so this is the i2 current okay so this is the i2 current flowing through the output terminal and the voltage across the uh, sorry the voltage across the output terminal is also v2 now this current is divided by the true branch current okay 
so this current is divided into two current you can consider one is hf into i1 this is also a dependent current source because um, this current is dependent on this input current i1 so hf into i1 and there is a also current h0 v2 h0 is a unit of one by resistance and the voltage is a unit of volt so v by r so this will be also a current so h0 and v2 is nothing but a unit of current so that's why this will be also a current and this current is flowing through it so this is the complete model actually of the h parameter model okay so hope you understand the equation and how we replace this h11 h12 h21 h22 with the help of this hi hr why we call hr why is called hf like this and this two has a this has a unit of ohm and this has a unit of mo and these two are actually unitless okay so with the help of this equation we are just replacing this model so next we will try to uh, try to calculate the different parameter out of this model so before that we will try to redraw the model once again so one minute I am just copying this diagram to copy One minute. Okay. So this is the actually the each parameter model. And in this H parameter model, we will try to. So, this is your uh, current flowing through is I1, and this is your HI. Okay, this is your HI. Now, in this model, we will try to connect. We will try to connect whenever we are seeing the calculate the different parameter that the input resistance, output resistance, something like that. Then we uh, so this is the transistor model. Whenever we uh, connect the transistor to the input source or the source voltage ac source voltage then this will be your ac source voltage vs and this is a input resistance okay source resistance rs and whenever we connect the transistor to a load so the load resistance must be there is some sort of load resistance so that will be your load resistance okay and the voltage across is like this so if we uh, just see this through this point then we will try to calculate the output resistance from there because i have said that whenever we try to calculate the input resistance or the output resistance then in the calculation of the output resistance we must exclude we must exclude the load resistance and whenever we calculate the input resistance we must include exclude the source resistance so this source resistance and the load resistance we will not consider whenever we calculate and this is true for the all model of the transistor that we will not consider these uh, resistances whenever we try to calculate the input resistance and the output resistance of this transistor okay so first parameter that uh, ri is nothing but here in the case of the ri ri is nothing but your vi divided by i1 so current flowing through is i1 and suppose this is the voltage vs and uh, it may be considered as v1 because the voltage across is, is v1 so v1 divided by i1 may be your input resistance and your r0 may be considered as r0 may be considered as you must exclude the rl so v2 divided by i2 so i2 is the current flowing like this this is your i2 i2 is the current flowing through it excluding the rl 
so whenever your v1 equal to 0 so this will be your expression for uh, ri and r0 now one point uh, this is the uh, I know I2 current direction you can see this is the I2 current direction and across the load resistance okay across the load resistance there is a current flow and that current may be considered as the load current or the output current that is I0 and this direction is in that direction but the I2 current direction is in that direction okay so whenever we in that figure whenever we try to calculate the current gain okay so whenever we try to calculate the current gain so current gain is represented by ai so ai is nothing but i naught divided by i1 output current divided by the input current input current is i1 and the output current is i1 so you can see that the i2 and the i0 current direction are the opposite that means i0 is nothing but opposite of i2 okay so then you can write i naught is i2 divided by i1 with a negative sign now what do you mean by the i2 i2 is written by this equation hf i1 hf into i1 plus h naught into v2 okay this equation i have written previously now the expression for v2 v2 is nothing but your v0 same parallel voltage because the, this voltage is your v0 and this voltage is v2 so all this is connected in parallel so the, all the voltage will be same and this v2 is equal to v0 is equal to nothing but i0 current is flowing to rl so i0 into rl this is very simple i0 is current flowing to the load so i0 into rl this is uh, nothing complicated and i0 equal to nothing but minus of i2 so minus of i2 into rl is equal to v0 okay or you can consider it is um, equal to v2 so this will be expression for v2 and or v0 whatever you can say so your i2 this i2 okay so this i2 is nothing but hf i1 minus h0 v2 is nothing but uh, minus i2 into rl so i2 to rl i am just replacing this v2 i am just replacing this v2 so your i2 is from this expression from this expression your i2 is nothing but i2 which is common this i2 hf divided by 1 plus h naught into rl so this is the expression for um, i2 and if you just into i1 into i1 so i2 divided by i1 equal to hf divided by 1 plus h naught into rl but your current gain is just the negative of this minus of i2 i1 so current gain is minus hf divided by 1 plus h naught rl so current gain is um, current gain is nothing but minus hf divided by 1 plus h naught into rl so this is the expression from the current gain in terms of h parameter model or different the uh, considering the h parameter okay so next is the your input resistance so what is the expression for the input resistance so input resistance so input resistance is represented by ri i have written previously that the input resistance is ri it is nothing but v1 divided by i1 so v1 is the voltage across this voltage across this v1 so v1 divided by i1 okay and what is the expression for v1 v1 is this expression uh, hi i1 plus hr v2 so hi i1 plus hr v2 this is the expression for this and and this v2 is being replaced by this okay i not into rl i not into rl this equation i not into rl okay so this is hi into i1 
plus H R into H naught into R L. So V T B B two is being replaced by H naught into R L. So we know that the I zero by I one is nothing but your current gain. This is your current gain. We have calculated just before. So I naught equal to A I into I one. Okay. So I I naught by I one equal to A I. So I naught equal to A I into I one. This is simple. So V one equal to again H I into I one plus H R H naught into R L. So I am just replacing this. Uh, so this is not H naught. This is I naught into R L. I am just I not okay, so I not is nothing but A I into I one into R L, so I am just replacing I not with this, so from this V one divided by I one, all this is I one, so V one divided by I one is equal to R I is equal to H I plus H R A I into R L okay. so and also if we just uh, this is ai here this is ai here so ri equal to i'm just writing again ri equal to hi plus hr ai into rl so you just replace ai with this with this value H F divided by one plus H not into R L, so H I minus uh, what is this expression? H F divided by one plus H not R L, so H F one plus H not into R L. This is the expression for A I, and H R is left, and also R L is left. Okay. so this is the final expression for ri okay and one thing is left here and that is your voltage gain okay so voltage gain next is your voltage gain so input resistance output resistance is already calculated so next is voltage gain So voltage gain is represented by A V. A V is nothing but V two divided by V one. So V two V two is nothing but your V zero because all in in parallel. I have said that previously. V two is nothing but your V zero. So V zero divided by V one. Okay. And V zero is nothing but V zero is nothing but I not into R L because I not is the load resistance current divided by V one. V one is I one into R I. Okay, I one into R I, and also I zero divided by I one. This is nothing but your current gain into R L divided by R I, and we know the expression for the current gain, and we also know the expression for the R I. So. Expression I am just writing is another page. So A V equal to A V equal to first is your current gain. A I what is the value of A I? A I is nothing but minus H F one plus H not R L minus H F divided by one plus H not into R L into R L divided by R I. What is R I? R I is H I minus this whole thing, so H I minus H R R L H F divided by one plus H not into R L. Okay. And now, if you further simplify this, if you simplify on your own, and you will get this value. Finally, H F into R L divided by H I. One plus H not into R L minus H R H F 
into RL. You can just simplify this. I am not going into detail into this. This is that thing, but uh, your uh, algebra. Okay, so we are getting the voltage gain. We are getting the input resistance. Okay, and we are getting the current gain expression. So these three expression we have get. Okay. So we can also calculate the overall voltage gain that uh, that will calculate in the next video. Thank you.